political financing? What is your stand for political financing in Nigeria? The law is clear. The Electoral Act has made prohibitions. It has allowed political parties and candidates to spend up to a ceiling. And that anybody who spends above that ceiling has committed an offence. And that offence is also punishable by penalties stated in the law books. So we are expecting the political parties to play by the rules. And more importantly, there is what is called state administrative resources. State administrative resources are public resources made available for the purpose of governance to public officials to be used in governance. And they include institutional resources, they include legal resources, they include the coercive resources of the military, the police, they include prosecutorial resources that you have in the Ministry of Justice and the human resources. That means they should not be used to the advantage of this or disadvantage of any political party at any election. And that brings me to something that maybe may be maybe a little bit embarrassing, that you cannot be a minister of the Federal Republic of Nigeria paid at my tax expense because a minister is paid with taxpayers' money. So any minister who is now full-time as the spokesman of a presidential campaign, what he's doing is illegal. That's my message. If he can get to the authorities, there is a minister today who is a spokesman of a presidential campaign. He's paid with public money. So he can only work for public benefit, not for a partisan benefit.